well hello beautiful collective welcome back to the channel guys let's get directly into your messages hmm. Ooh. okay well You should be mine. It's your power they want. They thought that by choosing someone else, they would trigger you. The funny thing is, they are the ones triggered. It's your power that they want. So somebody is uh, using children to manipulate. Hmm. Hmm. Through it all, this person's energy is with you. That other energy... Is using children to manipulate this person. They're making themselves available to this person, but they don't want it because it's too easy. They're still holding on to you. Okay, so... They're, this energy is so, oh boy, 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 we got a problem here. This energy of yours, your past person, loves the attention. They are making feminine energies chase after them. You're not a chaser. That's why this person is triggered. You're not chasing. Everyone else is chasing this person but you. Everybody wants this person but you. You're not chasing. They're not finding it challenging. Hmm... Hmm. Hmm. Oof. Yep. You're minding your own business here. You're moving on. Like I said, you're a leader. You're no follower. And I can tell you that something is going on here that this person is really stressed out about. Triggered. They are triggered by you because you are moving on. They are triggered by you because you have taken a leadership position. You are the leader. You're no follower. And you're not chasing. And they're triggered. Mm. Mm. It's making this person love you and want to return to you. It's like they're starting to notice everyone else. Like everyone else chasing after them trying to chase them for affluence or something like this but they don't want it 
They want you. And they're triggered because you're not paying them any attention. You're silent. And it's really bothering this person collective. It's really getting on their nerves. It's getting under their skin. It's like they're used to getting what they want, when they want, and how they want it. They got people chasing them. They got people surrounded by them. But they don't want them. Who told you? It's making them feel insecure. Look, you ain't going to be part of no third party bowl. It's not going to happen. Like I said, they got a lot of third parties going on. But they don't want any of them. They want something they can't have, and that's you. You're not a chaser. You're not bothered by them. You're moving on and minding your own business. And this is triggering emotions in them. Mm. It's making them want you. And they're scared that you're going to get another offer. They're scared that you're, you're triggering everybody. Oh my God, you are triggering everyone. You're triggering the third parties. You are triggering your person. The third parties know that this person has feelings for you, loves you. It, so they're bothered. And... Your person is bothered. Oh, God. Collective, you're triggering everybody. Everybody is triggered by you. The third parties are scared that this person loves you, which they do. The reason they love you is because you're not making it easy for them. You're not allowing them to disrespect you. They're triggered by you. The third parties are triggered. And I'm saying plural because that's what's coming out. I told you. Oh. Just stay away. Always spying on you. See, you've got a lot of growth and happiness here. You're very patient. You're very balanced. They were self-indulgent. They were. They were thinking like, oh, I could get several third parties to replace you. I could get anybody to replace you. Well, they did. So what's why are they still in love with you? Why do they continually search? Why are they obsessed? Why do they care who's paying you attention? They're angry because they can't seduce you. They're angry because you're not chasing them. They're angry because you're not chasing. You got this person dumbfounded. It's like... I think you embarrass this person. I do. Because you speak the truth. You, you're you not going to be dealing with all their headaches and problems. It's like you're hard to get here. Because you know your worth and you know your value. You're hard to get. They can't juggle you. You're not interested in being juggled. See, they thought they could ghost you, end things with you, and have several options. But the problem is they're triggered by, they know you can have several options. 
but you are hard to get. Like, you're hard to get. And that's what's triggering them. Like your heart space is open. You're loving, you're generous, you're dedicated, you're loyal. But you're nobody's fool. You're not going to be juggled. You're not going to take their garbage. No. Not happening. No. You're high morals, high value. You know. Like you're high value. You know your value. You're very solid. You're very stable. And look. They're triggered. This person was wishing that you would be devastated. That you would like break. They tried to break your spirit. They figured they could break you. That you would end up chasing them. And you didn't. This is backfiring on them. You're just sitting here diligently working at building your own life. Minding your own business. This is really triggering this person. It's like almost like they're obsessed with you because you're not interested. You're not, you're hard to get. Like, you're not easy. <laughs> okay. You're not simple by any meaning of the word. You're very selective in who you have in your life. You're very selective. Of who you engage with. Of who you have in your life. You're not easy. And this is triggering this person. You're not like anyone else. You always want what you cannot have. And that's what it's doing. So you've got several people here triggered, guys. Huh. They are lacking abundance. Your spirit team is taking care of it. They tried to convince you to like just give up. An ex is hella jealous of you because you're doing better than ever. Mm -hmm. They're mad because they see you winning. Fake friends. Mm -hmm. They're mad because you're highly protected. And you are doing better than other. I'm telling you, you got this person is triggered. They, they're losing interest in these third parties. You're on their brain. You're the one they think about. You're the one who they can't have. These other play toys... They mean nothing to this person. Absolutely nothing. I don't even care if they married him. Anybody can get married to save face. But it's you who they can't have. And it really is bothering them. Let's see what they want to say. They lack self-control. Well, we know that. They can't believe they did you dirty. <laughs> yeah, they're feeling the, the pain of being cut off from you. They believe their own lies about you. Maybe they thought you were like all their other options. You know, that you were going to get triggered and chase after them. And you didn't. You let them go. And you moved on. And you've been silent. Now they want you back. 
they feel so stupid. They feel homeless without you. You were home to this person. Their head was in the wrong place, I'll say. I didn't mean to abandon you. Every day I feel this emptiness. Saying they feel homeless without you. They're triggered. You got these people triggered. You've got everybody triggered. You've got their third parties, their options triggered. You got this person triggered. You're just going around like a, <laughs> a machine. You're hard to get. Because you ain't going to just give it up for anybody. Not like these other energies chasing after this person. They never met anybody like you. They thought you were like one of all their other options. And you're nothing near like any of their other options. Not even close. They thought they were going to be happier with the grass is greener. Yeah, they did. Why are they depressed now? They just wanted to win this masculine. They didn't even care about this masculine. They just wanted to win them. See? Just leave. It's not working out the way that they thought. This person unexpectedly realized that it's you that they love. They thought that they would be happy dating other people and playing the field. But they can't stop talking about you. You're healing and you're putting yourself back together again. This person's had enough of the third parties. I'm telling you, they've had enough. It's like it's not working out for them. Every time they get with the third party, it isn't working out for them. Because they're all fake, that's why. So the third party's got a beef with you. They all want to sit and fight and argue over this person. Let them. It's you who they think about. <laughs> so... And it's looking like oh the, you're the only one see this person thought they could seduce you and they can't They just thought that they could merrily come and go back and forth in your life and that you were always going to put up with it and that you would get jealous and go chasing after them and it backfired. You didn't do it, guys. Like I said, you're very selective who you let in your life. Their games don't work with you.
I don't care if they have multiple third parties. They're thinking of you. Depressed. Had enough. Tried blocking you out. <laughs> but they know they should be with you. They're having all kinds of problems here. In some cases, not all, but in some cases, this person got somebody else pregnant. <laughs> it's trickery. It's manipulation. It's, but they're not happy that karmic thinks that they're happy with them, but they're depressed. Not that you care, guys. It's just that. This person's energy, they are triggered by the fact that you are not chasing after them, that you're silent, minding your own business, not bothering with them. That is eating them alive. That's an ego death. The options that they've had are triggered by you because they know that this person is talking about you, venting about you. You're on their mind, on their heart. They mention your name. You're triggering everyone, guys. Take care.